one staff member who was recognized by his peers and nominated as Teacher of the Year. We have the story. Coming in later tonight, another cold front rushes in, and we have the details of how it'll affect us. And a throwback Thursday that might bring you guys back down memory lane. I'm Brady Pickett. And I'm Macy Cuthbertson. All this and more coming up on NHS TV Live. If you received the superintendent report in your emails this morning from Dr. Warren, you may have seen that a batch of cold weather is in store for us tonight and into tomorrow morning. We want to send it over to weather expert Lainey Moore for the timeline of weather events and how it will, of how it will impact your weekend. Lainey? Good morning, Texans. I have a weather update for you as the cold weather has tiptoed back into town. Looking at today, highs will stay in the upper 60s, but later tonight, a cold front is taking lows to the lower 30s, which leads us into tomorrow morning, where it's going to stay fairly cold with highs only being in the mid to upper 30s, also bringing a slight chance of rain, likely with a chance of snow throughout the day. Lows will be in the mid-20s later tomorrow night. Dr. Warren says, as of right now, school has not been canceled or delayed, and after-school activities are still going on during tomorrow afternoon. Moving to this weekend, it looks like weather is coming our way. Our way with Saturday highs in the mid-50s and lows in the mid-30s. As for Sunday, highs will come to the mid-60s and lows in the upper 40s. Kicking off spring break, Highs will be in the low 70s and lows in the upper 40s. That's all I have for your weather update. Back to you, Brady. Thank you so much, Lainey. Now, seniors, it's currently available for you to purchase your honor cords online until May 6th. Cost per cord is $10, and instructions on how to order honor cords and requirements can be found at tinyurl.com slash honor cord payment. Please allow two to three business days for your order to process. Then, after your order has been completed, you will go to the East office to pick it up when your order has been delivered. If you have any questions, please email Mrs. Ponce at eponce at nictx.org. Also, if you, if you still need test scores for college, there are still time slots available to take the TSIA-2. Seats are limited, however, for information, you can email Mrs. Leilani at habiba.leilani at nictx.org or Mrs. Furlow at melissa.furlow at nictx.org. As you may know, high school relationships are very common here at Northwest, and many posters have been put around school showing how to avoid toxic relationships. These posters show the signs of teen violence and toxic relationship signals. Dating violence is a serious topic, and there's many trusted adults here on campus to talk to if you notice any of these signs within your relationship. If you see these toxic signals, don't be afraid to schedule a time to speak with your counselor or a trusted adult. Now moving on to some lighter news, in honor of the American Heart Challenge, we have some students and staff who put together a fun opportunity to spread some joy around campus. Reese. Hey Texans, I'm here with Assistant Principal Mr. James. Mr. James, can you tell me a little bit more about the American Heart Associ Association Challenge? Yes, so we are putting on an event uh, to represent the American Heart Association as they try to uh, and cardiovascular diseases and, and deaths. So where can students sign up for all these events and buy so, tickets? So students can purchase tickets in the school store uh, during uh, lunch. Today the tickets are $5. What is the purpose of this event? So again, we, we just want to make sure that we are donating to a, a worthy cause. Uh, so many people uh, suffer from ailments due to cardiovascular diseases and things of that nature. We want to make sure that we're giving money to somebody who can help with that research. Awesome. All right, you heard it here, Texans. Be sure to buy your tickets for $5 in the lunches. Back to you, Macy. Thanks, Reese. And it's super sweet seeing our staff and students come together and spread some joy in honor of the American Heart Association. Now, a teacher here at Northwest who does more than just teach. NHS TV reporter Jack Dunning has a story diving deeper into the lives of our staff member here on campus. Mr. Monaghan started his journey off graduating from the University of Texas a and then working his way through Plano ISD, and then moving on to Keller ISD, and finally, now he's here in Northwest ISD. While doing all this moving around and being a teacher, he's also in the Texas Army National Guard. Here at Northwest, he does many things, from being an 11th grade history teacher to the boys' JV soccer coach, and helping the military recruiters. Even with the busy life that he has, he always makes time for his family, students, and colleagues. 
Mr. Monaghan, the thing about him is that, yeah, like you said, that anything that he does, I mean, you're working hard day and night, you know, trying to make yourself better, but he also does it. He's not one of those teachers who just, you know, lets you fail and just, you know, sits back and watches you. He'll, he'll get in there, he'll help you out and stuff like that, and he works day and night just to make each one of his students be great. While being there for his students, he is also there for his colleagues, making sure everything runs smoothly and goes the way it's supposed to go. Watching him work daily is just impressive. Um, he's first to arrive, he's the last to leave. Uh, everything's kind of T's crossed and I's dotted and, and just everything's just done meticulously well. And I think that's probably a direct reflection of how he then performs in the classroom, you know. Um, I don't think you can be a great teacher um, and a great, if you're not a great coach, and I don't think you can be a great coach if you're not a great teacher. They have to go hand in hand. I've never seen uh, somebody that couldn't do it in the classroom and then go be a great coach. Those two things kind of come hand in hand and uh, watching him the way he performs, he definitely fits that uh, criteria. This dedication to his students and colleagues has led him to get Teacher of the Year. The Exemplar Educator and Teacher of the Year, uh, it's a huge honor. Uh, I, know, I know the people that are here on staff have worked here for a couple of years and, and there's some fantastic educators here on campus. Uh, and just to, to receive that title this year, it, uh, it's, it's, it's an honor. Uh, I'm very humbled, uh, again, just based off the people that I work with. Uh, and, and I hope that uh, you know it makes me better. I think uh, with all the, the things that uh, additional things that I've had to do, uh, it's made me really focus in and, and, and make sure that uh, you know that that I, I don't think I could ever deserve this honor. Uh, but it's for sure made me look at it and make sure, hey, if if they say I'm an exemplar educator, I need to be on my A game every day, uh, and you can't take a day off. Uh, which again, during season, especially in soccer, that can be difficult at times. Thank you, Mr. Monaghan, for all that you have done and will continue to do for the school. This has been Jack Dunning with NHS TV. We recognize Coach Monaghan for his hard work for helping students, and we also would like to wish the best of luck to the soccer team as their season continues. Now before we go, Hayden has a new edition of Throwback Thursday with some fun toys you might remember from your childhood. Howdy Texans, and welcome back to another Throwback Thursday. Starting it off strong with the coolest lamps you probably ever had, lava lamps. These fun items were sure to light up any room you chose to put them in but I know I was puzzled by how they even worked. I guess it will always be a mystery. Next up is the classic Magic 8-Ball. Ask it a question, it gives you the answer. It might not always be the answer you want, but hey, Magic 8-Ball knows best. And last but not least, the board game that was sure to give you a little jump, Perfection. This game originally came out in 1973, but has stuck around for quite some time, creating great memories for many families. That's all I have for this edition of Throwback Thursday. This has been Hayden Hall for NHS TV. All right, Texans, that's all we have today. And don't forget, tomorrow will be a pep rally day, so be sure to check your bell schedule. And lastly, there will be no advisory today, so please stay in your second period class until you are dismissed for third period. Thanks for watching. This has been NHS TV Live.